So there's a bit of um, Phoebe. We broke it. Hell? We broke it. We've broken the game. We've there was a clash of interests. Game. Sorry, talking over jobs there. Jobs? No, it's fine. Talk over me. Carry no, on. No, it's fine. fine. Right, if it's I talk lowly talk in the background, me, then you can... Yeah, if I talk lowly in the background <laughs> like this, quietly, you can just talk over me and you'll be happy. So, oh, bloody hell. There was a clash of interests. He wanted to do one mission. I wanted to do another. He clicked one. I clicked... He, he clicked Rhea, whatever it's called. I clicked Dion. It said we were loading in Dion. And then on the loading screen, it said Phoebe. Yeah, so, so we're do Phoebe. Not sure what was going How on there. Working out. So we're on whichever one we're on. Yeah, I don't know what we're on. I don't quite know what we're doing. Just hack the damn panel, man. You've done it, man. Why can I not climb up there? That doesn't make because sense. Because you're useless. The resistance is useless. Oh, I hiccuped in the middle of that. <laughs> you. <laughs> hull breach. Oh god, on hull breach. <laughs> I love the hull breach, man. It's wicked. My shield's going down. Oh, pro tip, by the way, don't walk in the fire. I just breached that. I j it said I was successful. You did it. You unbreached it anyway. We're going the right way. Oh, exterminate. Uh, exter ex exterminate. Shut up now. <laughs> exterminate daffodils. <laughs> What's that from? Apart from, obviously. That was um, Frankie Boyle on Mock the Week. This oh, is right, a poem yeah, yeah, yeah. about daffodils. <laughs> exterminate daffodils. <laughs> Mock the week's epic. Apparently, yeah, you know all the nasty, really sick jokes that Frankie Boyle comes out with yeah. every now and then? You know why he's not on the show anymore? People complained about it. Apparently he made a joke about the royal family, which I don't think there's any issue with. That's nothing. Compared to some of the jokes he's come out with. He's, he's talking about, you know, the, the bad side of friendly being friendly with children. And stuff <laughs> like that. And he, well... He, that's about the best way I can put it with a, with a YouTube audience. And, you know, he'd come out with all sorts of stuff that was technically pretty wrong. Yeah. Can you die, please? Thank you. And, and then all of a sudden... The family is nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Plus the fact, how many times does... um? Oh, God, what's his name now? The dude that, that does the impressions of the royal family, like... He'd do the voiceover, yeah. a bit of video, and he would take the piss out of them next, left, right, and centre, wouldn't he? Hmm. I don't, I don't know. It's obviously the producers because Dara, what? who's obviously it's his show, wouldn't well, have kicked him off. Hosting, isn't it? Well, he it was probably his idea, to be honest. And he approaches like the BBC or whoever it is and says, "Look, I've got this idea for a show. I want to do it." And the BBC will be like, "Yeah, sounds like a good idea." Well, maybe not. Maybe he was just asked by the BBC, this is the concept we have. Um, would you be prepared to be the... I mean, it's possible. The panel host. Uh, mod. But I, I can't see Dara kicking him out or something like that. I mean, I, I didn't no. even know if it's true. You know, I haven't verified whether it's, it's true or not. It's just what you've heard. It's hearsay. Yeah, but still, if it is true... It's bullshit. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I, mean, I, I could understand people complaining like hell about him because some of the stuff he comes out of is pretty bad. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Simple well, as exactly. that. I mean, that's the way I look at it. I watch it. Some of the stuff I think, no, I don't like the idea of that. That's not really funny to me. But the rest of it, hilarious. Yeah, like, um, is it Jimmy Carr? Yeah. I don't like Jimmy Carr. But I Jimmy don't... Carr's the one that, that uh, yeah, I think I know who you're on about. Yeah, I don't like him. I don't like his comedy. But you don't hear me moan about it. I just won't watch him. I like his comedy. If we are talking about the same person, and Jimmy Carr's the one that did um, 8 out of 10 cats and Distraction. Probably. Yeah. And I like the fact that he's so plain. He's literally just plain and direct. 
Oh, look, I found an area. And you should see the way that Jimmy Carr deals with hecklers. It's hilarious. I've never watched any of his stand up. Oh, sh seriously. A anyone out there, YouTube Jimmy Carr heckling. Like, and the way he deals with them is amazing. So funny. I've um, watched um, a comedy video of this comedy guy. What? Uh, <laughs> 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 He's got a puppet. He sticks his hand up its bum and then it talks. Oh it called? god, you're not on about the dude. Uh, Jeff Dunham. It could it could have been Jeff Dunham. With Ahmed, the the dead terrorist. Yeah, but it was the old guy. Uh, yeah. Uh, so it was. It was like, I don't yeah, even like him, but was, I can remember most of it. It was like the end of the show, and he's got the old guy out, and at this point of the show, the old guy, the old puppet, answers questions <laughs> from the audience, right? And one of the questions was, why is it that I gag? when I brush my teeth, but not when I give my boyfriend oral, oral sex. <laughs> right? And it was the best witty comeback I'd ever heard. He's like, well, obviously, your toothbrush is bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how do you come up with that spur of the moment, you know? That's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. But there was another one, and the way he dealt with it was really, really good, because someone asked a question, and he didn't know how to answer it. He couldn't think of anything funny to say, so he turns around and goes, not in my arsenal of snappy comebacks. <laughs> I was like, yeah! It was awesome, man. I just got told that you need help to open the door as the door was opening. We have broken this game today. Whoa! Whoa. Get a shield down, get a shield down. Dude, can you get a shield down? Yeah, dude, it's not just the shield, it's there's other people as well. Whoa! <laughs> On that the ceiling, look, look he's on the ceiling. He went oh, up, mate. He went up. How oh, cool is that? He is down whilst being up. Oof. Get up for your bad self. Overhaul successful. Let's get going. Mm-hmm. shit. Yes, yeah, so I put a couple of mods back on my swords. I've got um Shock mod and one that does plus damage. Mod. Hang on, I thought we were finished with Dead Island for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, it does um, my electricity damage. But I've got one that does frost damage as well. It's pretty good. So I'll put them on it. One more this way, man. Sorry, money. See if we can take out the last guy in style. Yeah! Did he fail? No. no, I did it, I did it. Get to the distraction. On my way to the distraction. Do you feel distracted? Mm, no. I need to look. I need loot. I like my fat loot. You scumbag! Get out of here! Get back here! <laughs> Quick! Get the distraction! Oh yeah! I no. win! <laughs> you scumbag! Good job, well executed. Thank you. Good I game, man. Well executed. Good game.